Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our weekly Build Showcase series. If you don't know, this is something that we do every week where we sit down, we take a look at DIY projects that have been submitted by our customers. These are all made with electrical conduit and maker pipe connectors. Basically, just break down the build so we can highlight some different techniques, hacks, and creative solutions so you can get ideas for whatever it is that you're making. In this week's episode, we're going to be checking out a DIY kayak and paddleboard trailer, a marching band prop, a boat blind, a Halloween decoration, and a doorway awning. All kinds of great builds as always. Let's jump right in and check them out. First up is this fantastic kayak and paddleboard trailer. This comes from John. This is really awesome here. You can see it looks like he had a trailer already in place. I think this is a boat trailer that he already had and basically just built a framework that supports a kayak and paddleboard as you can see here. Kayak goes on the bottom and he's got a stand up paddleboard on top and then even a carrier on top that I imagine has the paddles and probably life jackets, different things like that in there. Really cool, really awesome build and I love this. There's some really great things incorporated into this. So basically we'll start from the bottom and work our way up. We can see here that he secured a uh, one inch empty conduit to the framework of the boat using the maker pipe flange. And half of the flange is secured to the boat, looks like with some bolts there going through the rail of the, uh, of the um, boat trailer. And then he kind of curved the conduit up and that goes to the front of the trailer and looks like is attached up there also with uh, some flanges from Maker Pipe, just secured in the same way. They're bolted directly to the frame of the trailer. And then he's using some of the Maker Pipe T connectors there to kind of square that off in the front. And he's got some uh, pipe insulation we can see up there. And that's basically what the kayak sits on. And then he's got four verticals that go up from the side of the trailer frame and those are secured looks like using off the shelf two hole straps so they kind of wrap around and then there's a tab so the bolt can go through those looks like he's using two on each side and he's got two verticals going up as we can see here there's more of those two hole straps but two verticals per side and then he's using the maker pipe 90 degree connector to basically grab onto those verticals in four different places here. And this is how he attached and made this square shape up top. And this is what the paddle board sits on. And then at the very top, he used 90 degree connectors again in the corners to basically make another rectangle exactly like the one we just looked at. And this is what is supporting that carrier on top of the frame. And then he just added some, looks like some angled bracing down here with the adjustable angle connector that goes down and then attaches to the trailer with the adjustable angle flange. Just added some bracing there. That's always a good idea in projects. And then looks like he just finished it off by adding some more pipe insulation, basically just to protect the kayaks and the, the paddle boards. Super smart, really easy thing to do and keep the different boats and things protected if you're sliding things on and off the steel frame. Super awesome, looks really cool, looks really practical and functional and just a really great way to utilize this boat trailer that's made to hold one boat. He's now hauling a kayak, a paddleboard and all the gear. So really awesome, John. Thanks so much for sharing this, a really great build. Next up is this marching band prop from Ray and this is really cool. We can see here, it looks like he's got a plywood base and we can't really see exactly how the wheels are attached to this. I don't know if he built like a maker pipe uh, rectangle underneath with, with axles going through. I doubt it just because of the size of the plywood. Probably just made, uh, you know, this base and then, uh, you know, just kind of added some axles. Probably, I don't know. I don't really know, to be honest with you. But maybe he just kind of fashioned uh, some different axles using some lawnmower repair, repair parts because it looks like those are lawnmower replacement wheels. So if I had to guess, some kind of axle created with that. Uh, but, of course, there's a lot of weight in the middle of this board, so I don't know how well that would be supported. I don't know. If you're watching, Ray, we'd love to see uh, or hear about how you made that axle. But we can see the maker pipe frame and how it's put together where basically there is, it looks like five, well, I guess technically three total verticals. So basically just attached to this plywood base, he's got three verticals going up. And it looks like those are secured to the plywood using a flange solution. And it looks like the conduit's going all the way through. It looks like some holes drilled in the plywood. So there must be some kind of framework underneath this plywood frame uh, that, has, that has axles for the wheels and also is supporting the rest of the structure. So that makes sense. Don't really see exactly how that's working, but uh, we can see that there are some connections here going through the floor or through this plywood base. So it looks like he's grabbing on to a framework underneath for these three main verticals. 
And those go up, and it looks like he added maybe some PVC pipes over the conduit, as we can see here, because the conduit kind of stops right here. And it looks like there's some PVC pipe or some larger tube over top of the conduit going up to this. It looks like a, an ice cream cone or something. Not, not entirely sure what this, uh, or there's no cone, but it looks like the top of an ice cream cone, like where the ice cream is. I don't really know uh, exactly what the prop is per se, but it is a marching band prop that rolls out onto the field. And so basically the PVC kind of just goes up into that foam prop there. And then the uh, that's supported by the conduit frame underneath. And pretty easy down here, just added some bracing. Looks like connecting to that frame that's underneath the plywood, going up with the adjustable angle connectors and grabbing onto those. And looks like that's braced in looks like three different places just to add some stability to the frame so it doesn't sway back and forth. So that's really cool and a really smart thing to do. But yeah, don't really see that framework underneath, so I don't know exactly how it's done. Could just be the normal axle method that we've talked a lot about on the channel. I'll link some videos down below so you can get some ideas for that. But really cool. Thanks so much, Ray, for sharing this. If you want to share more details, we'd love to hear them. But this is really cool. Thanks so much for sending it in. Next up is a simple project from Bruce, and this is a boat blind that is really cool. We can see he's got a nice boat and basically just built a really simple framework here with EMT conduit and maker pipe, as you would imagine. And basically, it looks like just a horizontal piece that goes from the front of the boat to the back on each side, as we can see here. And then he's just grabbing onto those with uh, maker pipe T connectors here. It looks like three on each side. And those are just grabbing onto that horizontal going up top. And then there's another horizontal pipe. And we can't really see because of the way the angle of the photo. But basically, it's running from the front to the back here. Um, and then he's just grabbing onto those with various connectors. We can see that he's using, it looks like the 90 degree connector, but normally, you know, we see that kind of flat, so the vertical piece goes through it and sits flush. But it looks like he's using that at an angle on its side, so basically it just goes, uh, so the, the horizontal piece is running through the connector, and then the pieces that are terminating are here in the bottom, and then this piece going to the other side, which adds some bracing, you know, goes from one side to the other grabs onto this other 90 degree connector. And again, it's just terminating there. And then the verticals terminating inside of it. I'd imagine he did that same design two more times, pretty simply, just to add uh, you know, some, some side to side pipes on top, which is going to support the uh, duck blind material here, as we can see the camouflage. Don't really see exactly how it's attached. I would imagine pretty easily with just some Velcro straps or zip ties, different ways you could do that to make it easily removable. But a nice and simple frame. I don't even see that it's attached to the boat in any way. I think it's honestly just resting in there. It looks like there's a cross support from one side to the other with T connectors and a piece of conduit going from one side to the other. But nice and simple. Don't even look like it's attached. It looks like it just rests in the boat there. And the way it's designed just kind of sits nicely in the framework on the outside or on the you know on the outside of the boat, pretty close to the rails. And then he can add the boat blind material and get out there and get hunting. So really cool, nice and simple boat blind. Thanks so much for sharing this, Bruce. We love seeing it. Next up is a really cool build from Tim. I can honestly say I think this is the first theater that we've seen from someone. And this is for Halloween coming up. It basically does some different, uh, I think, decorations in his, I want to say it's his yard. Uh, but basically, this is a cinema that he built. It's called the Creep House Cinemas, which is really cool. Basically, you can go in and you can choose what horror movie you want to watch inside of the the Halloween themed cinema here. And basically he, he said he's built this out of PVC pipes in the past and he repurposed a lot of PVC, but kind of reconstructed the framework and built it with EMT conduit. And there's a lot of different connections here and a, a lot of, uh, it's really involved obviously to see, as we can see here, this is pretty much a kind of the same kind of structure you would see for a greenhouse or something like that, but it's massive, a lot of connections. And I want to highlight a couple of techniques we, we can see he said he hammered some rebar in the ground, some fiberglass rebar, and then the PVC is slid over top of that, and those go up, and we can see back here that he's got three-quarter inch EMT running through the top of the PVC, P con uh, the PVC T connector, and he basically uh, just used some kind of reducer or shim to make that work, and we didn't really hear exactly what shim he did, but I'd imagine just some kind of you know piece of PEX or something like that just to kind of to shim that gap for the three-quarter inch conduit. But basically he did that same technique in a few different places just to repurpose some of the, the PVC he had on hand. And then we can see he's using some of the crossover clamps back there to grab onto the horizontal pieces with the verticals. And he's got some clamps holding on to the tarps there. And just a lot of connectors, a lot of bracing. 
See some adjustable angle connectors and one inch EMT here uh, just to add some bracing to the frame. And then of course there's some tarps on top of this and kind of spread throughout. We can see here that he mounted a TV to the conduit and then there's a, some wood up there that I imagine is just supporting the tarp and kind of flattening it out up there above the TV. And just like I said, lots of stuff involved in this. I think he said he's working on a build video. So I'm sure when he finishes that, we can uh, see that and we can uh, make a follow-up post. We can see more detail about this and you guys can check out that video once he gets it finished. But really cool build and uh, it was a really cool idea. I'm, I'm sure people are going to love it on Halloween. It's really awesome, Tim. Thanks so much for sharing it. Last but not least is a doorway or kind of entryway awning. This was built by Scott. Looks like some kind of, uh, maybe a sh it looks like a shed or a workshop. Maybe it's the backside of a house or something like that. But uh, nonetheless, this is a really great awning structure that is attached to the side of the building, as we can see here. And here's a good shot of it all finished and protecting the door and this whole kind of concrete slab out here. Really awesome job. And we can see somewhat of the framework here and kind of how it was put together. And basically it looks like there are some of the maker pipe adjustable angle flanges bolted to the wall of the shed. And there's an angled piece of conduit coming out of that that goes up. And then a T connector is grabbing on to the horizontal piece that uh, basically runs from one side of the awning to the other. And then it looks like he grabbed onto that right next to that with another T connector and that goes up to another adjustable angle flange, actually a couple of them that are secured to the wall there. And then he's using I think I saw a 180 degree connector up here. Yeah, 180 degree connector up here uh, to basically extend the horizontal span and then also grab onto it and add another piece of conduit that runs again to that front horizontal bar that runs from one side to the other. And it's a pretty simple frame. We can't really see uh, kind of a wider view of it, but really just a lot of T connectors and a lot of 180 degree connectors to kind of just extend this frame and then grab onto it in different places. And then a really great technique here is some pe uh, pieces of wood secured to the conduit framework. Looks like some two hole straps securing the wood uh, pieces to the framework. And then on top of that, he's got the metal pieces, uh, you know, the, the common pieces you see for awnings and things like that. He's got those secured directly to the pieces of wood, which is super smart and a really great technique that if you're building some kind of awning or if you need a roof for some kind of uh, a shed that you're building or some kind of enclosure, garden enclosure, or even, uh, you know, the different things like chicken enclosures, whatever it might be, it's a really great technique for securing those pieces of, of roof panels, those metal roof panels to your build. So really cool ideas here, and we can see that in some of these spots, he just added a T-connector with a short stub sticking out the bottom just to kind of support that wood without necessarily putting a piece of pipe all the way from the front of the frame to the back. So that's a really cool technique and just a really great idea for adding roofs and things to projects with those roofing panels. Really cool. Thanks so much for sharing this build, and thanks to everybody for posting your projects. As always, we love seeing them. They'll all be linked down below if you want to check any of them out in more detail. Keep them coming. We'll keep doing these episodes. We love doing it and hope you guys enjoy them too. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.